Hey, I'm the Bond Guy and I have some very exciting things to show you today. Not only are we launching our new spring 2017 fragrance, Nolita, but we have done something we have never done before. We gave it its own lipstick to match. Bond number no. nine, Nolita, is a lush celebration of femininity and flirtatiousness for New York's latest downtown hotspot. If you're not from New York, the names for these neighborhoods may seem very confusing. For example, we have NoHo, north of Houston Street, then we have SoHo, which is south of Houston Street. But what is Nolita? It's north of Little Italy. And since we have fragrances for all those other neighborhoods I just mentioned, it was just a matter of time before we set our sights and our noses and our lips on Nolita. Nolita is an enclave of narrow tree-lined streets with amazing niche and designer boutiques for shopping. For arts and culture, we've got the new museum. And if you love to read or you're a little bit bookish, we have the McNally Jackson Bookstore, which is famous for having some of the best books in the world. We created Bond Number no. 9 Nolita to capture the fun, flirty, and edgy downtown vibe that happens here, as well as the art and culture and sizzling nightlife. Now that we have the perfect scent and the perfect lipstick for Nolita, I'm gonna go spray this neighborhood with this scent and paint their lips red. Do you know what Nolita stands for? Yes, no. in North of Little Italy. Oh, right geez, on! What do you love about this area? Um, cute shops and nice restaurants. Yeah, I like how People many... watching, good people watching also. This is Bond number no. nine, Nolita. We felt like this cool, hip downtown hotspot needed a scent of its own. It's light, light and springy and but not too light. Right, because it's also got that it's like nighttime, fun. It's just like, woo. like flirtatious. Very flirty. I literally can't stop smelling this. That's what I, I want to hear that. What do you love about this area? Pete? Uh, we were just at the new museum. The new museum, yeah. It's like kind of sexy smelling, right? It's supposed to be a little sexy <laughs> and flirtatious. No, oh, it's like fun and like, not flirty, but I guess a little flirty smelling. Uh, that's how we describe it. Really? Yeah, no, the whole idea is like fun, flirtatious, whimsical. That is so funny. A little bit of fashion, yeah. a little bit of art, because we've got the new museum, and then we have all the boutiques on like Elizabeth, Mott, Lafayette, all that. And then, of course, the food and the drink, like yeah. the nightlife. It's like cool, hip nightlife here. Exactly. So we nailed it. You nailed it. I mean, it's, it's awesome. awesome. This is something we've never, ever done before. Okay. Okay. We created our own lipstick to go with it. Nice. It's a good color. You need a good... What do you think of this color red? I really, it's really like red. it. It's not too orange, because sometimes reds can get a little too orange, and I'm not Totally. Into yeah. No, this is like the perfect New York red yeah. for like the perfect Nolita girl. Oh my god, it smells so good. You know like when you're walking through the city, like on like a summer, spring day, yes. and everything, like kind of like today, like everything's just like alive and fun. Mm, it's not bad. Fresh. What do you like bad. about it? I like it's fresh. It's fresh, it's, it's, it's a little sweet. So I like so sweet and fresh. Yeah, I like sweet, sweet and fresh. Sweet and fresh. Yeah. Do you think it kind of represents the feeling yes. and the vibe in this neighborhood? Everybody over here is fresh. I have had a blast introducing Nolita to the people on the streets of Nolita. And what was particularly cool is that so many people immediately picked up on the fun, flirty vibe of this fragrance. And they also felt like it captured the downtown arts and culture scene as well as the fashion. So we got it all in here in this bottle and this lipstick. So we can't wait for you to spray it, smell it, and wear it. And until next time, I'm your Bond Guy.